Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the first. So, you know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. We have the Five of Cups, and Temperance, reversed, Temperance reversed. So this is, uh, well it's sadness, we got some sadness, unbalanced, somebody's going overboard, alright, do they are unable to manage their feelings. This is, could be extreme sadness, okay? Extreme depression, depression, extreme regrets. There's an opportunity for love that is being missed. It's available, it's clear that it's available. Uh, it's right there, okay? You see that, there's the Ace of Cups with the Three of Cups behind. So there's definitely you know, an opportunity there. Let me just refocus this. There we go. There's an opportunity that is right there. But there's been some sort of heartache or separation. So there's the separation, which is, which is uh, sad. Okay, so there's sadness. Overdoing it. Somebody is over engaging in negative patterns, perhaps. You know, this is excess, going overboard, okay? So somebody may be trying to bury their feelings in addictions with some sort of drug, alcohol, addiction of some sort, bury their pain. Um, that's kind of like what it looks like to me. This is a need to re-examine, but in too much pain to do so. There's a self-healing that is needed. We have somebody here that is suffering. They're in pain and they need to heal, but they're, it's like they're unwilling to compromise. They're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to accept. They're unwilling to accept that something is over. Okay? So they may be, or they may be, I don't know, they're unwilling to accept something that change is needed, that something has ended. This is very difficult. So it is very difficult. It's, def it's definitely, um, well, there's, there's sadness here. And I feel like that we have an individual that isn't healthy and they are engaging in a, inappropriate behavior. And I don't know if it's drinking. Maybe they're overdoing it in the drinking arena or the alcohol. Well, drinking is alcohol. Um... Could be drugs as well. Um, apparently it comes in twos by the looks of things. We got the Nine of Swords and the world reversed. So this is lack of success. Flogging a dead horse. Extremely depressed. Okay, we definitely have somebody here that is depressed, anxious, a lot of worry, um, having a hard time sleeping. This is like a nightmare. They may be even having nightmares. Um, resisting change, again, cannot accept. Okay, we definitely have somebody that cannot accept change, that is unwilling to accept change, somebody that is flogging that dead horse. Um, now that Nine of Swords, and there's extreme regrets here. Somebody is having a lot of regrets or they're extremely worried about uh, an outcome or, or, or something like that. There's extreme uh, despair here. Now that world card reverse is lack of closure. Um, lack of success, unwilling to take a new approach. 
inappropriate behavior with the temperance reversed, not learning a lesson. Both of these cards, somebody is not learning a lesson. They refuse to learn a lesson, okay? And they keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over and over again. So we have somebody that's having a hard time, you know, starting a new life, starting a new journey because they can't manage their feelings. They can't uh, accept change. They won't because temperance comes after death, comes after the death card. So something obviously has ended or this card wouldn't be here. And I can see that it has with the five of cups. There's been some sort of separation. There's been some sort of ending where we have somebody here that cannot accept it. They can't accept the reality of it. They can't accept that it's over or they just aren't willing to change. Okay. They may be unwilling to, to change. Okay. This is definitely resisting, resisting, um, moving on, uh, resisting a new beginning, staying in a situation that is uh, not healthy by the looks of things. Um, this, this person experience, it, it appears to be um, very, very worried. We have somebody here that is very, very worried, very stressed out. Um, King of Swords reversed. Now the King of Swords reversed. Now the King of Swords reversed is somebody that could be cold, very cold, uh, hard, um, rude, uh, ruthless. Somebody that lacks integrity, lacks honesty, lacks clarity, or is a know-it-all. The King of Swords in reversed. Very it could be abusive, mentally abusive, verbally abusive. Um, very, very cold, mean, says a lot of mean things, says, says things to hurt people with their words. I think we have, this is like, I feel like it's mental abuse. We may have somebody here that is mentally abusing another person, you know, um, with their words. We could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Sagittarius here. Um, I feel like this is the Sagittarius. This is the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. We all take on these energies at times. There's some. I feel like there's some sort of mental or verbal abuse here from another person that may be pushing somebody over the edge or causing somebody an imbalance or causing somebody um, a lot of anxiety. Um, somebody is... It feels like they're saying some really mean, hurtful things that are uh, causing some strife. You got somebody here that is saying things without thinking, okay? This person doesn't care. They're, they're cold. They're just upset. They're frustrated. Somebody is very, very frustrated. They don't care. They don't care who they hurt. And they are hurting another person with their words. That's very, very clear. Um... Anyhow, we have an individual that is very frustrated, for sure. And I feel like um, it's like there's no positive change that is coming because this person is so stuck. They're so stuck in their ways. They're unwilling to change. We have somebody here that is unwilling to change. So they're stuck in a situation that is heartbreaking. Okay, somebody is in a heartbreaking situation. Because they're unwilling to change. Okay? This is like sleeping at night, having a very hard time worrying, you know, when is when are things going to change? Well, things, you have to change. You have to change. You have to stop focusing on what's hurting you and step into your new life. Nobody's going to do it for you. So it's like we have somebody here that is waiting for something to change. Well, you have to change it. Nobody's going to change it for you. And I repeated myself because you needed to hear it. I had just had a scenario that pulled up in my head and, and it left just as quickly. It came and it went. Um, geez, it's gone too. Completely gone. I hate it when that happens. Um, oh, I wish it would come back. It was a good one too. All those words that I'm saying are part of this reading. 
It's gone. It's not coming back. It's gone for a reason. Accept it. It's time for a change. Stop holding on. Stop waiting around. Stop wasting your time focusing on a loss. Two of Swords. This is about a decision. A painful, stressful decision that you have to make. You have to choose. Open your eyes. Somebody has been blocking them. They've been ignoring the truth. Avoiding the truth. Choosing not to see the truth. So, I feel as though we have somebody that is really struggling. They're struggling. They're trying, they're, they're, uh, for some reason, they're trying to block the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to believe the truth, even though it is the truth. It is the truth. So somebody has to find their ability to open their eyes, stand up, and walk away from whatever this situation is. This is a painful choice. It's a difficult decision. We have somebody here that is caught in the middle, okay? They're caught in the middle of two choices, maybe two relationships. It feels like they've been in sort some sort of denial, okay? They've been unable to see the truth. They've been choosing not to see the truth, okay? Somebody has been choosing not to see the truth, okay? That's what they've been doing. All you got to do is take that blindfold off and they'll see it very, very clearly. But they've been choosing not to and it's been causing them a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress, nightmares. Uh, they've been dreaming about their choice. They know what they need to do, but they've been in some sort of denial. And it emotionally withdrawn, shut down, um, unwilling to... Uh, accept something, unwilling to accept, unwilling to accept change, unwilling to accept that something is over. And, and you know, hey, maybe there's abuse. Maybe there's abuse that's here. And you know, sometimes when people are being abused, you know, they, they don't, they, they're too scared. They're too scared to make a choice, you know. Um, but anyway, that world card reversed, uh, is an ending is needed. Somebody needs to step over that finish line. They need to stop. They need to stop going backwards. They need to stop repeating their same mistakes. They need to make a choice to uh, focus on the future and not the past. We got somebody here that is stuck in the past. They're unwilling to focus on the future. They're unwilling to change. It's like this is somebody that is very... Uh, Well, not logical, okay? This person's not being logical. They're not using their mind. Their heart is, it's like you got, somebody has their heart too set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable, right? And you gotta, you gotta use your, you gotta use your head. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be logical here. We have an individual that's not being very logical. I don't know why this thing won't stay lit, but I feel the need. <laughs> I feel the need to have it. So, um... Anyhow, it's time. It's time to cleanse. It's time to remove all the negative energies. We have somebody here that is really, really struggling with a choice. And the only reason they're, they're struggling so much is because where they're at, you know, it's comfortable. It's comfortable there, you know. Anyhow, it's a comfortable space. It's protecting. You know, some people, when you've been hurt by another person or abused by another person, um... You put up this shield, you put up this barrier to protect yourself in the future. 
you know, to protect yourself from other types of abuse. So I feel like we have that here as well. Um, needing to make a choice, needing to open your eyes. Somebody needs to open their eyes. There's sadness here, great sadness with these two cards. We have somebody here that is really, really sad. Um, somebody's making them sad. Knight of Wands, act now, think later. Just do it. Get the hell out of there. Do what you got to do. Go for it. Take action right now. Somebody is going to be taking action. This is somebody that is ready to fight. They are. You notice the armor? There's there's a there's a full mask. There's this full armor here. We got somebody here that is ready to fight. Okay? They're on a mission. They're going. They're going to do something. So there is somebody that is about to take action. And it could be because they're angry. They're frustrated because of abuse. So, we, you know, I'm just saying because this is an abusive individual that may say some really mean things. Doesn't think about what they're saying that, that sparks something because this is a spark. Okay. This is a, it is the, the night of, the night of one. Excuse me. Knight of Wands is a spark, you know. It's a sudden sudden desire, sudden sudden action, sudden spark. Somebody suddenly decides to do something um spur the moment and it may be to get some attention. Okay? Chariot. Well, yes, sir. We definitely have some movement. Somebody will be getting in their car and going somewhere. They're moving very fast. Definitely fast. Somebody is going to be making a move and they're going to be moving very, very fast in a new direction, moving forward. This is somebody that definitely could be angry. I'm just saying. Um, they're ready to take charge. They're ready to take back control of a situation or to take control of situation. Getting behind the wheel steering uh, steering something in a new direction. We definitely have an arrival here. Um, there may be some unfinished business with that world card reversed. I'm changing the story a little bit. If there is some unfinished business, we may have somebody that is coming to do something. Maybe, you know, they're acting in, in pain. It feels like they're acting out of pain. Okay. Um, that's what it feels like to me. Um... That chariot is moving, getting in the getting in the car, getting in the car and going someplace, very very suddenly. All of a sudden, getting it, and it feels with the with the temperance reverse. That's frustration. That is frustration, and that and I don't know if there's drinking or drugs involved, but there's there definitely could be. There definitely could be. This is going to extremes. So somebody could be going to extremes. They could be extremely upset. Okay, even with the King of Swords reverse, if somebody could be extremely mad, very, very angry. I do feel like we have somebody here that is angry. And they can't, they can't uh, stop themselves. It's like they can't stop themselves. I feel like it's a reaction to pain, you know, and people, that's how be, people react from pain, okay? That's a fact. So I think that um, somebody has been probably thinking about, or they've been lonely for one thing. Somebody's been very lonely and they've been suffering in silence. They've been suffering alone and they've been going back and forth as to what they want to do. And they've been burying their, their sadness or their pain with some sort of addiction. And I feel like they get to the point where they overdo it. You know, they get over and, I don't know if it's intoxicated or angry, whatever it is, they overdo it and they, they can't control themselves. And I feel like they, you know, they, they decide that they're going to go do something. Um, but that Knight of Wands and that Chariot card, there is definitely action being taken. Okay. There is, we definitely have some action that is being taken. Um, this is moving very, very fast.
towards success after not being successful because that that world card reverse is not successful and the chariot is going towards re success that's like packing up and leaving somebody may be packing up and leaving maybe that's what they're doing they may be packing up and leaving you know going for a ride or they're moving they could be moving because there's no success where they're they're at um somebody is making a spur of the moment decision with that knight of wands okay they're making a spur of the moment decision i think the decision is based off of some sort of unbalanced situation uh maybe it's an argument or something like that with the king of swords reverse there's anger here okay there's abuse a mental abuse verbal abuse um Somebody has also been trying to block or they've been blocking something. Because this is blocking. Blocking the truth. Avoiding the truth. Now the king of swords in reverse is somebody that um, is power crazed. Okay, this person is power crazed. So... I think that uh, somebody may need to protect themselves even because this is about the two of swords is about protection. Somebody may need to protect themselves from an individual that is, uh, you know, wanting to be in control. This person wants to be in control. And so they may do something crazy. I'm just saying. Um, there's definitely going to be some movement. Somebody is about to make a move. Um, there's definite frustrations here. There is. We have an individual that is very frustrated and I feel like they're going to get in their car and uh, I don't know if it's their car but it feels like it's a vehicle. Um, nine of Wands. So this is somebody that is very determined, very, very strong. This is a warrior, right? This is a wounded warrior. This person has been hurt. So yes, this person is reacting from their pain. We definitely have an individual here that may be angry. They may be angry about everything that life has served them. And they're, they are going to take action. They are determined. They are determined to win. That is exactly what we got here. Um... so yeah I feel like we have an individual that is ready to fight I think I don't know if I said it but I was thinking it this we do have somebody here that is ready to fight they are ready to put in effort they're ready to do whatever it takes to win to win something um to find success to be the victor. This person is not ready to give up. They are not ready to give up. Whatever that means. Now, the Nine of Wands expecting trouble. I think that you should be expecting trouble. I think that trouble could be coming. I do. I think that trouble could definitely be coming. Um, I think we have somebody here that is very alone. Okay. Um, and you should be on the lookout. I think that you should be on the lookout. I'm not sure if there's going to be an intruder or what. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I, I feel like... Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like this is a lover, okay? I feel like this is some sort of fighter that wants to come in to pick a fight. This ain't good, okay? This is the sun card reversed. So this is sadness. This is loneliness due to dis disillusionment. This is... A sad situation which I knew that it was I can tell I can I can feel it it's very sad a very sad individual that is lonely and it is because of their disillusionment 
whether they're with somebody right now or not, you can still be lonely when if you're blocking your heart. And we do have somebody here that has been blocking their heart. There's poor logic, and there is poor logic again with the king of king of swords reverse. We have somebody here that's not being logical. There may be some inner child problems. There could also be an absent father with this with this card in this card. So I feel like or something like that. This is like we ha this is like uh, there's a loss of power here. There is there's a loss of personal power here. We have and we have somebody here that is sick. Okay, they're sick. They're ill. You know, um, they could even be they could even be mentally ill. Okay, they're sick. They're not very healthy. I feel like there's. Uh, no growth there's lack of clarity we have somebody here that is in a dark place it definitely is a dark place okay and i feel like they are going to uh do something spur the moment based on their disillusionment based on their pain based on their loneliness to get some sort of attention So yeah, um, I guess the only thing that I can say is that there's un some unfinished business that still has to be dealt with. And I'm not here to scare people, but I think you should expect some trouble. Good luck.